to Cairo Hustle. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession on the world's number one chiropractic podcast. Before we dive into this powerful episode, please remember to subscribe to our channels and give us a five-star rating on iTunes to continue hustling. This episode is sponsored by Align Life, Brain-Based Health Solutions, Cairo HD, Imaging Services, Cairo Health USA, Cairo Mobiles, Pure Cairo Notes, Hytronics, German College of Chiropractic, New Patients in a Box, Life Chiropractic College West, Pro Hockey Cairos, Pro Baseball Cairos, the IFCO, and 100% Chiropractic, Let's Hustle. Hey guys, welcome to episode 558 of the Cairo Hustle podcast. I'm your producer, Luke Millette, and here's your host, James Chester. So today we had the opportunity of interviewing Catherine Arnston. If you want to hear the story of energy bits and how it's actually real food, stay tuned. Welcome back. This is another episode of the Cairo Hustle podcast. Today I have Catherine Arnston on with me, and she has a product that's called Energy Bits, and uh, it's uh, algae. Um, and we're going to talk all about it, how it helps with people's brain and guts and longevity, and how it's uh, healthy for people to have in its nutrition uh, portfolio of how it's packed with vitality for people. So. Um, we're, we're going to talk all things energy bits here in a moment, and I'll introduce Dr. Uh, Catherine soon, but I'll let you know the big why. Why do we do what we do over here at Cairo Hustle? Well, first things first is the Second Amendment, freedom of speech. Um, we believe in everybody has a story to tell, and no one should be censored or marginalized with their message. So we've never done that. We never will do that. Everybody that's spoken on our platform has been published. So really cool. Um, we don't shadow ban people or we don't uh, deplatform or cancel people. So I think that's really like today's era. We have to mention that stuff. Um, second thing that we do is we protect people's family health freedom and medical freedom. So we share these stories. So we want people to be able to integrate with us and be able to speak their truth and feel comfortable doing so. Then we uh, get a bit more chiropractic and we'll talk a little bit more on the levels of philosophy. We believe in uh, protecting the sacred trust. If you don't know what the sacred trust is, stop this interview. Go and search <laughs> for um, BJ Palmer's last words, BJ Palmer's sacred trust. You're going to know more about chiropractic than you previously did, I guarantee you. And then we uh, support and believe in subluxation based chiropractic. Um, and we also get to the more philosophical depth of what the chiropractic adjustment does. We believe that when man or woman the physical gets adjusted, it connects them to man or woman the spiritual. With that being said, Catherine, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me, and thank you for all the great things that you and the chiropractic community do. I'm a loyal chiropractic client, <laughs> and I believe everything that you said and more. Yeah, well, I had a chance to meet you at Dave Asprey's uh, biohacking conference two years ago out in, um, gosh, where was it? Uh, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, yeah. Yes. And uh, ever since then, I've been looking at your your business and seeing what you've been up to. And gosh, you've you've been on over 250 podcasts. Way to go! <laughs> I got to get this information out somehow. And and uh, thanks to you folks and podcasts, um, where you want the real the real deal, the real science. It's, it helps me share what I have because uh, the mainstream is still not doesn't seem to be interested in algae <laughs> like. Um, <laughs> our specialty folks are who are doing podcasts. So, so thank you for giving me an opportunity to share what I've learned and what Asia knows and has known for 75 years, but people here in North America are still in the dark about. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing I, I think I really appreciate about what you're doing most is you found your avatar outlet. Yes. Like like, okay. You guys aren't going to have me on mainstream. So I'm going to go to the best, case scenario influencers out there, people that are actually um, sharing the secret with people and people that are actually on purpose for a message that's greater than what they're, you know, filtering people through. Um, I call the box God, the television. Yes. Well, it's people versus profits. So, um, and you know, when you've hit the truth, it resonates with you at a very deep soul level. And that's why I, I have resonated with algae from the moment 
I discovered it. And as you hear how it works with your body and your mitochondria to protect you, I'm hoping it will resonate with you too, because once you learn the truth, you can't unlearn it. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's just, it is, um, it's vitality. Um, it just gives people better nutrition and a better density of understanding that the body can heal from inside out mm -hmm. and the body needs nothing extra in it. It simply needs no interference, but if it's actually getting real nutrients, if it's getting something in there, that's actually giving it more vitality, then that's really what we want. And I think that that's really something that we can talk about with the spirulina and the chlorella. Um, why are those things important to you? Well, what's important to me is helping people prevent chronic disease and uh, unnecessary. Well, you don't prevent aging, but you do prevent, or you can prevent declining. And we have been associated aging with declining for a very long time, and it's not necessary. But like your car that needs gas to function, and like your cell phone that needs electricity to be recharged, we can't assume that our bodies are going to function optimally, if at all, if we don't give it what it needs to, to perform. And if we don't uh, um, inter interfere by giving it things that it doesn't need, like toxins. So the reason I like algae is that it does both of those things. It gives you the nourishment that you're not getting from any other place. And there are some particular nutrients, particular antioxidants that protect your mitochondria that your body makes for you from the moment you're born, but stops after the age of 30. So it leaves us exposed to chronic disease. And our immune systems weren't built to sustain the toxic load that we are all carrying. The average adult in America has 700 toxins in their bodies. And so those interfere with the proper functioning of your cell structure, your mitochondria, your brain, your gut, pretty much everything. So, um, and I'll give you a broad overview of what algae is, and then we'll hone in on the two algae, spirulina and chlorella, that do completely different things in your body um, and the nutrients that are in them that do make the difference because spirulina as you'll find out is really your number one for mitochondrial health and chlorella algae is really your number one algae for your immune and gut health um, and we'll I'll, I'll go into that into more detail in a minute so you became interested in algae and you decided to start a company well <laughs> yes and no. I never intended to build a company. What what happened was I, I'm Canadian, although I live in Boston and have been here for 30 years, 35 years. And uh, I had a corporate career, which was okay. But then 15 years ago, my younger sister in Canada developed breast cancer and she's fine now, but her oncologist told her to change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would help with her healing. But we didn't tell her what it was or why specifically it worked. So my baby sister called me because I love her and I'm just a good researcher. In fact, I'm pursuing a PhD um, on all this research I've now <laughs> developed. Um, and um, I said, I don't know what an alkaline diet is, but I'll find out. It turned out to be a plant-based diet because of the phytonutrients and the chlorophyll that have been proven for decades to build your immune system. So I went to town, I went to research, I found hundreds of PubMed articles, read you know about 10 books. She changed her diet, she went through chemo, she completely healed. Then I decided that this knowledge needed to get out to more people. And this was 15 years ago, people weren't talking about plant-based nutrition. So I gave up my career, went back to school, studied nutrition, got a certificate in health coaching, put a curriculum together, teaching plant-based nutrition, trying to get people to eat more vegetables because I'd seen the science of what they could do for you and your health. And I got pushback from everybody I was giving these lectures to because they said, you know, I know we're supposed to eat more vegetables, but and I'm sure your chiropractic community who's listening right now, I'm sure you hear the same thing because as you help your try to guide your patients to better health by improving their diet and their um, by getting them to eat more raw foods and more vegetables and grass fed animal protein as well. It's a lot of work for them. And they were, I was hearing, well, the vegetables are heavy to carry home and they take too long to clean. They take too long to cook. I throw half of them out. I have arguments with my kids, with my husbands and they go bad. And so, so I thought, okay, if I need to help people get more nutrition into them and they're not going to eat the vegetables, I need to find a way to get the nutrition into them without any work because clearly the vegetables were too much work. So I just circled back to find all the things I'd found for my sister 
And when I got to algae, that's when the miracle happened because algae's got 100,000 studies documenting the different health benefits. We're going to talk about some of them today. It's been used daily for 75 years in Asia. The Japanese don't leave their house without chlorella every day. Um, and the best thing about it is that they come in these little tiny tablets that you can swallow or chew. And each one of these tablets um, has the same nutrition. There's This is spirulina, and we'll talk about it in a minute. And this is chlorella. Spirulina is a blue-green Chlorella is a green algae. Each one has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. So while I'm standing here talking to you, okay, I just had a plate of vegetables. How easy is that? So when you said I wanted to start a company, no, I just wanted to help my sister. And then after helping my sister, I thought, well, now I have this knowledge. You know, I should help a few more people. So then I started teaching <laughs> and then and then found out I couldn't help them because they didn't want to change, do a lifestyle change. And then when I found algae, uh, well, this is the platform. This is the this is the medium. This makes it easy for people to get the nutrition. It's been endorsed by NASA for 50 years as having the highest concentration of nutrition nutrition in the world, a thousand times more than any other vegetable. It's been endorsed by United Nations for 50 years because it has three times the amount of protein as steak and it's an eco-friendly sustainable crop. So all along the way, I was just trying to help people because I'd had this epiphany that I wasn't satisfied in my corporate career. I was never really a good fit there. I'm always just a very helping individual, problem solving. And this brought me a lot of joy. And so I just kept going. I used to sell my bags of algae tablets out of my knapsack at my gym. And eventually I entered a lot of competitions and I eventually built a website and Fast forward to here, we are 13 years later, and um, I have a full team. We have big production. We have big farms growing the algae. Uh, I was on, as you mentioned, over 250 podcasts. And I, you know, I'm on a mission to change the world. I mean, I want to make it easy for people to get the nourishment they need, to get rid of the toxins they don't, and not to have to fight with their children or their parents or their kids, or their you know, significant others, and just not have to spend as much work or time to get the nourishment that is scientifically proven to prevent or reverse chronic diseases um, and to just give you the nourishment that you need. The only downside with algae is um, doesn't necessarily taste that great. So, um, but there's nothing, and, and also up until now, and we'll tell you some of the details in a minute, uh, the quality has been very poor that was available in North America. So um, I made sure that whatever we did was to ensure the nutrient density and the safety. And then we, I also design all the packaging and we try to make it really less weird because people think of algae as algae blooms that close their beaches. And so um, I designed all the packaging. So it's very welcoming, very, and almost entertaining because I can't help anybody if I can't get the product into their mouth. So I wasn't ever really planning on building a company, but here I am with one, <laughs> but it brings me a lot of joy to know that every day I'm helping people get the nourishment they need and preventing or correcting chronic disease. Well, you know, I, I've been, you know, thinking a lot about your product <laughs> and I, I think a lot about like the medical arena. And I think a lot about the health and wellness arena and, you know, there's really no money in healthy people <laughs> oh, unless, <I> know. <laughs> unless you have a great product that can sustain them and give them support. And I think that that's what I've come away with understanding more about it. I mean, when we were off the camera, I was like, you're like a packet person. Like you sent me like five packets of information to read and I read them all. But I, I think like when you start to go down and take the deep dive to understand what your product is, what it's consisted of, why the ethos behind the product and now what you're doing with it 13 years later, it should inspire people to say, that might be good for me too. I hope because, so. Because I think that the product is really fundamental. And I, I do want to talk a little bit about the missing nutrients in people's diets and in the, you know, the, what they consume and how your product helps support that. Yep. So I know that there's Roundup and there's like Monsanto and everything that we touch at our grocery stores and at the supermarket. What is different in the profile of your product? Well, first of all, um, the problem is um, scientists are calling this era that we're in the great um, nutritional collapse because um, our soils have been overcropped, monocropped. There aren't any 
minerals left in the soil. So even if you are eating vegetables, uh, there aren't enough nutrients or, or minerals um, that there used to be 50 years ago. So you're still nutrient deprived. And a lot of the vegetables are grown in foreign countries. So they, they're harvested before they're ripe. So the enzymes and the nutrients can't even get to the, the fruit or the leaves. So um, you're eating a lot of fiber and you're getting a lot of calories, but you're actually not getting nu nutrients, even if you're eating organic. So that's number one. And then the, the number two is the is the toxins part, which you alluded to with the Roundup. Um, and, but the toxins are everywhere. They're in your detergents, they're in your carpets, they're in the air, they're in your clothing, and they layer on in your immune system. And when they do tests, and they, they do so few testing, but when they do test, they test the toxin in isolation. Well, we don't live in isolation. We, you know, that toxin is on top of some toxins you got from what you drank the night, the day before, or what you ate the day before, and, you know, leftover mold spores. So that's why people are having such a hard problem with their health is because these toxins layer on top of one another. And when you don't get the nutrition that you need, your immune system isn't functioning properly and certainly neither is your mitochondria. Algae is the answer for a number of reasons. First of all, and I hope I have time to talk about this in greater detail, it was the first life on earth four billion years ago. And it's all documented in evolutionary science. So um, something that's been here longer than anything else in the world is pretty special. I don't think there's something spiritual about it, but that's number one. Um, number two, and hopefully again, we'll get to it, the, your mitochondria are the most important part of your body. Um, for those who aren't familiar with mitochondria, and we'll, I've got some teaching materials, it is the little organelle that's inside of all your cells that generate energy, uh, cellular energy. Now, this isn't the kind of energy that you need to run to the grocery store just for the grocery store or just for your run. This is cellular energy that propels everything, powers everything in your body. You're walking, talking, thinking, sleeping, lymphatic system, drainage, detox, digestion, absolutely everything. So you always need cellular energy. And the more you have, the better you are and the healthier you are and the longer you live and the better everything functions properly. And the cellular energy itself is called ATP. And it's made by the mitochondria. And But the problem is as you get older, your mitochondria get damaged so they aren't able to generate that cellular energy. Uh, and this is when you're... So there's less of it. It's like money. You know, when you have more money, you can do more things and you have more choices. When you have more cellular energy, you can do more things and you have more choices. So when you have less cellular energy, there's a little, it's a smaller slice of pie of energy to go around to fight off cancer, to fight off those toxins, to help you get to sleep, to help you do anything. And so it just doesn't work. And with less and less mitochondria as you as you get older and fewer and fewer of them functioning optimally, this is when you slide into chronic disease or uh, or um, decline. And um, I'll get back in a minute to telling you exactly why algae is the best thing for your mitochondria, but I do want to put together two of these concepts that algae is the was the first life on earth and the most important thing therefore on earth and that the mitochondria are the where the rubber hits the road for your health and you can't go any deeper into your cell structure than mitochondria and here's the cool thing your mitochondria evolved from algae and it's proven in science it's called endosymbiotic theory and so it's no surprise to me that everything that's in algae feeds and protects and supports your mitochondria. Um, and I'll, I'll get into some of that detail later on. So A, it's the most nutrient dense food in the world. And, the, um, and I'll back up a little bit because I need you to understand what algae is. It's a food category. It's not technically a plant, it's not an animal, it's not a fruit. So it's a food category. And there are two main types of subcategories. One is called macroalgae, the other one is microalgae. We're talking mostly about microalgae today, but let me tell you what macroalgae is. It's that stringy stuff that washes up on shore, also known as seaweed. Now it's good for you because it has lots of fiber and iodine because it comes from the sea, but there's virtually zero nutrition. The other type of algae, which is what we're talking about, is microalgae called, and it's called microalgae because it's microscopic in size. Something like a million of these cells could fit on the head of a pin. That's how tiny it is. And contrast to the macroalgae, it has either no fiber or virtually no fiber. Spirulina has zero fiber, and we'll explain that in a minute. But it's the most concentrated nutrition in the world 
completely opposite to macroalgae, which lots of fiber, no nutrition, microalgae, lots of nutrition, zero fiber. So microalgae is everywhere, which is the other difference between it and macro. Macro is only in the sea. Microalgae is in the sea, the lakes, the rivers, the streams, your swimming pool, your aquarium, the soil. Um, and it's uh, there's tens of thousands of strains of microalgae. Macroalgae is just a couple. Two of the strains are blue, green, and green. And an example of blue green algae is spirulina. And an example of, of green algae is chlorella. And I point this out because many of you may have been on the internet and noticed there was some articles about a blue green algae, toxic blue green algae. It's like the scary thing from the uh, ocean closing your beach. And, and, and you do want to stay away from that. But we're not talking about spirulina. There are many, many types of blue-green algae, and algae is very important because it kills bacteria. Poor algae gets the bum rap because when you have a blue-green algae or any algae closing your beach, it only showed up because someone or something put toxins in the water. Algae is the cleanup crew. You can't see the toxins, but you can see the algae, and it will absorb the toxins and kill the bacteria. So it is you do want to stay away from it because it is toxic. But it's not the bad guy. The bad guy is the person who put the toxins in the water. But the good news is the algae kills the bacteria in your body too. So when I'm talking about spirulina, as I will in a minute, it's not the stuff that you see closing your beach. Spirulina and also chlorella are harvested as food crops not from the ocean. So spirulina grows in long, long, narrow um, sort of farms and chlorella is in, in round one. But the point that you need to know is that it's harvested as a food crop. It's called hydroponic and lots of vegetables are made hydroponically, tomatoes, lettuce. And the good thing for you to know is a number one, algae is food. It's not a supplement. And B, it's grown in fresh water. So it's not from the ocean. So there are no toxins. And then what we do is we after growing it in fresh water then we air dry it into high into powder without high heat and this is extremely important because all the other algae companies use high heat and i'll explain why it's so important in a minute and then we just press them into these little tablets that we call bits because they're bits of nutrition and that's why people have responded so easily and quickly and love our algae so much because it is so safe. We do third party lab tests. It's so effortless. You just swallow or chew. We recommend 10 spirulina in the morning and 10 chlorella at night. And I'll explain why in a minute, but it's so concentrated. We sell them in large bags that a bag of, of uh, it's a thousand tablets has the same nutrition equal to 551 pounds of vegetables. Um, 551 pounds of vegetables that you didn't have to carry home from the grocery store, clean, cook, eat, or throw out um, when nobody ate them. So um, very efficient nutrition and so efficient that your kids, your grandparents, your pets, your newborns, absolutely everybody can eat them. And as I said earlier, one tablet has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. So this gets me so excited because I know the CDC says 97% of Americans don't get their daily requirement of vegetables. And I have found the solution for you. If you like the taste, you can chew them. If you don't, you can swallow them. And there's no repeat, not like fish oil. By the way, they can replace fish oil. What We'll talk about the two different spirulina and chlorella in a minute because they do completely different things in your body. But I th this is truly fast food. If you can swallow water, you can get the nourishment that you need and the detox capabilities that your body doesn't, you know, get rid of the toxins your body doesn't want in seconds. There is no effort required, no cleaning, no mixing, no, no preparing, nothing. And it's the answer, I think, um, for, um, for us at this time in this juncture in this toxic world that we live in full of food that has no nutrients in it. <laughs> You made it to Cairo Hustle. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession on the world's number one chiropractic podcast. This episode is sponsored by Align Life, Brain Based Health Solutions, Cairo HD, Imaging Services, Cairo Health USA, Cairo Moguls, Pure Cairo Notes, Tritronics, German College of Chiropractic. New Patients in a Box, Life Chiropractic College West, Pro Hockey Kairos, Pro Baseball Kairos, the IFCO, and 100% Chiropractic 
Let's hustle. So you said there's two. There's spirulina and there's chlorella. And you yes. should take one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, I've never heard that before. So maybe uh, educate me as you educate our audience. Sure. So spirulina is a blue-green algae. And it's called a blue-green algae because it has two pigments, a blue one called phycocyanin. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but phycocyanin, in case you want to Google it, is P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N. The other spir um, pigment is chlorophyll. Now, what makes spirulina so uh, important for you is the nourishment that it gives your cells. It has the highest concentration of protein in the world, the equivalent of three times the amount of protein is steak. This is why the United Nations has endorsed it since uh, for 49 years as the answer to world hunger, because it is the most concentrated protein source and an eco-friendly sustainable crop. Now, spirulina's claim to fame is that it uh, gives you energy. And how does it do it? Well, first of all, all that protein is already in amino acid form. So it's nothing for your body to have to break down. It has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine that your body can't make. So it's a, it's a complete protein. And then it's also loaded with B vitamins. B vitamins are what convert the protein into energy. So this is why it gives you energy in the moment. Um, and it's also 40 vitamins and minerals, rich in uh, I, um uh, sort of uh, iron that carries oxygen to your blood. It's a vasodilator that brings more oxygen to your blood, to your body, into your brain, and it's and it has zero zero carbs. So people who are doing intermittent fasting or are on keto diet, it's terrific in the morning. Get you out the door in seconds. You get nourished. You, all your um, micronutrient needs are met. Your mineral needs are met, and it didn't take you more than two seconds. How special is that? And the kind of energy you get is not like a stimulant uh, that you would get from caffeine, chemicals, or sugar. It's just from nutrition. And it gets absorbed instantly. And this is why we actually got picked up by the Olympic athletes years ago, because it's so nourishing and so energizing, but with steady energy. Um, because there's no caffeine, chemicals, or sugar. Those are stimulants. Those give you a rapid rise and a rapid crash. With spirulina, there's none of those stimulants, and the energy is very steady. But you, but still, because um, spirulina is a bacteria, it has no cellulose wall, so there's nothing for your body to get to break down, to get access to all this protein and the and the nutrients and the energy in the moment. Now we'll talk about it in a bit more detail. But one of the other things that the spirulina does, because it has that blue pigment in it which I mentioned before, phycocyanin. Um, and what does phycocyanin do? Well, it speeds up the, um, the process of generating a, uh, ATP. And I don't want to get too geeky, but the process of ATP, the production process, um, there are four sort of stations of molecules embedded in your inner membrane of your, of your mitochondria. And to generate ATP, these little electrons have to be passed from one station to the next, sort of like a relay race, you know, racer hands off the baton. Now the phycocyanin, it speeds up that process of uh, the electrons going from one of these molecules to the next. So it speeds it up. So you ge it generates more ATP for you. So now you're getting more cellular energy long-term. You get the energy in the immediacy from the you know, aminos and the B vitamins, but you get the longer term um, energy from the ATP, improved ATP production. So that's why we called our, our spirulina energy bits because we wanted to make it easy. We didn't know if people want, could say or spell spirulina. So we thought, well, you we call it energy bits. Um, and I packaged it in blue because it's a blue green algae. I wanted to help people understand what it was. And I also put it in water because it was the first life on earth and it came from water. So, so that's what, um, that's what, why people take it mostly in the morning. You could take it any time of day, but mostly in the morning, because that's when you're tired or you're hungry or before a workout. Now we recommend at least 10 tablets. Again, they're very tiny about the size of a baby aspirin. Um, one doesn't really do much. Uh, I mean, you could start with five if you wanted, but 10 gives you, um, satisfies your hunger for, you know, a couple of hours. If you're doing a good workout or you want it for a meal replacement, 30 would be better. We come, they come in little pouches with 30 and then that's probably what you had. So, and there is no upper limit. We have NHL players that have 75 spirulina before a game because they need a lot of energy on the ice. They need lots of focus. I didn't, I forgot to mention that it also 
improves your mental focus because of the essential fatty acids um, and also that phycocyanin. And there's an antioxidant we'll talk about in a minute called superoxide dismutase that protects your mitochondria and your brain has the most mitochondria per cell. There's 2 million mitochondria per cell in your brain. So this is the first thing you should go to to protect your mitochondria because when your mitochondria are functioning properly, your brain is functioning properly. And a great book to read about that is called Brain Energy. Dr. Chris Palmer, who is a psychiatrist at the Harvard Medical School uh, just came up with this book about six months ago, and he talks about how all brain disorders are due to damaged mitochondria, everything. Doesn't matter whether it's depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, everything's due to mitochondria damage. And as you're gonna find out if I have time, spirulina and the nutrients in spirulina are the most powerful, the most powerful part of spirulina, yes, you get energy and satisfies your hunger, is that it protects your mitochondria. It restores your mitochondria and it has nutrients in, the, in it that aren't found in any other food anywhere. So, uh, and also not just in any spirulina, it has to be raw spirulina. And we're probably one of the few companies that don't use high heat to dry our algae. So it is a raw food. You could get frozen spirulina, it would do the same thing, but it's hard to find. So, so in general, spirulina, just to remember, very nourishing, uh, uh, great for brain health, great for mitochondria health, and great for energy, both in the immediacy and also long-term. So that's your little summary on spirulina. Yeah, I think it's important for people to know and I, I know that we're coming up on the edge of our time together today, but let's do a couple quick hits. Can I do chlorella? Because it's quite different. Yeah, you can do chlorella. Yep. Okay. So chlorella, yeah, it's highest, it's claim to fame is that it's highest in chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a um, very, very important nutrient and it builds your blood and it also builds your cell walls. I'm going to show you something that you may not know about chlorophyll, chem chemical composition of chlorophyll is almost identical to your hemoglobin. This is uh, this is hemoglobin, this is chlorophyll. So when you take, uh, and, and there's no chlorophyll in our vegetables anymore. So even again, if you're eating organic, you're not getting any chlorophyll. So you're not building your blood, you're not building your cell walls. And, and chlorella has 25 times more of the chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll. And even has 500 times more than arugula. Chlorophyll is very cleansing and chlorella has a hard cell wall that attaches to toxins, all kinds of toxins, heavy metals, alcohol, lactic acid, doesn't matter what it is, pulls them out and chelates them. So and so it helps your body repair, which is why we recommend it at night, because when you're sleeping, you're going through a detox repair cycle. You take chlorella before bed, you will facilitate that, that detox and repair. It also has the highest tryptophan in the world, which is a precursor to melatonin, so it helps you sleep. So to help, uh, so it has all the, also has, now this one has fiber, because it's a, it does belong to the plant kingdom, which is why there's a a plant leaf on the on the package and so it does feed your gut biome as well because you were talking about that earlier so the gut by so chlorella which we call recovery bits heals your gut and spirulina heals your brain and there's a vagus nerve that attaches to you know, connects the two of them so when you heal one you help heal the second one and because again it comes in tiny tablets that you can swallow or chew um, that makes it very very accessible to people so any we sell only through chiropractors by the way um, medical offices biohacking uh, centers were not sold through um, regular chain stores so we are very used to and want to continue selling through the chiropractic community so if anyone is looking to help their patients in, embrace better mitochondria health better immune health better energy uh, improve their longevity and don't they don't want to have a lot to work to do it these are these two algae are, are your solution um, in fact to help people understand the difference between the two of them I, I realize because I speak at a lot of conferences and, and hotels this is so nourishing think about it as room service I got a hotel and chlorella is so cleansing it's like housekeeping <laughs> so this is room service and this is housekeeping or again think of this for brain food brain health and chlorella as uh, as gut health the two of them do completely different things work in conjunction you can take them alone together with food instead of food um, i have so many every day i mean i eat real food but um, i don't know what i would do without these two and they're great to travel with well i think there's a lot to discuss about the product more um, 
I would like to potentially do another interview with you and talk to you more about how it aids immune health and how people yeah. can get the uh, algae and uh, supplement um, with another product rather than the collagen powders, the fish oils. Oh, it has more collagen than collagen powder. <laughs> Crazy, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I just I think that there's a lot still to discuss about the topic of algae. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a lot of health benefit around it. And if people knew how good it was, just like chiropractic, they would utilize it more frequently and add it into their chiropractic lifestyle. Exactly. So I, I tell people, instead of asking why you, why would you take algae? I'd say, well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> when you know what it does and why it does what it does, it's a complete, it's the key that unlocks the door to good health is the best way to describe it. And it's effortless. In Amer North America, we need that effortless issue. Um, people want fast food. This is fast food, except it's real food. All that other stuff is just, I don't know what to call it. It's not food. <laughs> So, and this was a gift from us to us from Mother Nature. We just grow it so carefully and um, so that it preserves all the nutrients, including those ones I alluded to superoxide dismutase and phycocyanin, which are both damaged, completely damaged by high heat. And almost everything else that's on the market uses high heat to dry it. So, um, I'm very proud that we don't do that. And then we chose to do it that way because. Again, I wasn't planning on starting a company. I just wanted to help people get healthy. And so the way you do that is you pay attention to the detail and um, you put people first. So that's what we always have done. Well, Catherine, uh, is very information packed episode <laughs> of Cairo Hustle. Uh, this is episode 558. If you want to get in touch with Catherine, it's Catherine at energybits.com. Um, check her out on. Oh, and we uh, have a discount code to share with your community. Um, come to visit us at energybits.com, E N E R G Y B I T S. It's B for boy, I T for Tom, S for Sam. And we call them bits because they're bits of nutrition. So, um, so come and visit us at energybits.com. And the co discount code is Cairo Hustle. Um, all one word, and you'll get 20% off of anything. And if there's any chiropractors who are interested, and we, uh, we sell through chiropractors nationwide, um, you can email us at wholesale at energybits.com. We welcome you. We'll send you samples. Um, it's so amazing for your community, so easy for you to um, explain what it does. And I, I've written about 500 different pieces of marketing materials, that, so it makes it easy for you um, so that you can share this with your, 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 your staff as well as your patients. So it's, it's, um, it's, it works, it's concentrated, it's pure, it's safe, it's third party lab tested. Um, we'd love to hear from you and use so, Cairo hustle for your 20% off. So check it out guys, energybits.com Cairo hustle and the coupon code will get you 20% off. Catherine, thank you for being our guest today. Um, this is episode 558. I always close out by telling everyone, you're just one story away. Keep hustling. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Catherine, thanks for making time today. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks for listening to Cairo Hustle. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.